Hello, I'm here to test out an UltraFire battery and UltraFires are not known to be particularly reliable. There are many and varied types of them on the internet, Amazon, eBay, so forth. And uh, a lot of them, some are different than others, some are a little bit better than others, and they all come in different uh, milliamp capacities. I have a simple tester here to test out the voltage, but um, we'll just start by showing you that I have been charging one to make sure that it is full. And this is it here. UltraFire, can you read that? UltraFire 18650 it says it's 6800 milliamps, which is an outright lie. They don't even make them more than 3500. So this is 6800 3.7 volts. It is one of the yellow ones. As you can see, they come in red, they come in red, they come in yellow, they come in blue, so forth and so on, depending on which cheap manufacturer is putting the UltraFire name on it. Anyway, it is full. As you can see, I was just charging it to make sure it was. And um, this one is at 4.14 volts and it put in 500 milliamps when I started charging it. It was just over three volts when I put it on here, just over three. But it did charge it to 4.14 and instead of 6,800 milliamps, the charger put in 500. So that should tell you how wrong the listed capacity actually is. So let's take the battery out. It's at 4.14 uh, volts right now. And uh, I will make a note of that. 4.14 is where we started out at and I'm going to charge or rather test this battery in an outlight flashlight which is a popular another popular item on the internet eBay Amazon and so forth this is the outlight h6 it doesn't say that on here but it does use an XML t6 LED and this light according to Amazon is 900 lumens but that is also a fabrication uh, but so be that as it may, we will test it, test this uh, UltraFire battery in the Outlight flashlight. I'm going to turn it on. When I do, it will be in high mode because that's what they default to when they first turn on. This has the zooming uh, lens, so I'm going to zoom it or zoom it to a particular spot here and then do a ceiling bounce. But it is on high. There are the other modes so you know that it is on high and uh, again this light claims to be 900 lumens and in about two seconds i will test it against a real 900 lumen light and you will see okay uh the other light i have here is a real 900 lumen light this is a uh, night eye r26 which i've already done another um, video on but uh here is the night eye next to the outlight and there are the outputs on both lights okay there are the outputs on both lights but the uh, night eye is considerably brighter and it is a 900 lumen light as opposed to the outlight which only claims it's a 900 lumen light so there is the output right now on high okay so there you can at least see the difference between what 900 lumens is and what 900 lumens is supposed to be. So we will continue on with the outlight and the time is per near 7.30, 7.29. Well, I turned the flashlight on about 7.28. So if you want to be technical, I turned the flashlight on about 7.28. But we will check back in a bit and see how the uh, outlight flashlight is doing with this um, UltraFire battery. Hi there, just a quick update on this UltraFire battery and the outlight flashlight. It has been 20 minutes. The time is now 10 minutes to 8. When I first put it in there it was 727. So it's been a good uh, a good 20 minutes. Just a tad more than that and this is the output as we are seeing it at this particular time you could even go back on the video and see if this output differs from when I first put it in there 20 minutes ago but I will check back well hello I am checking back again because look at what has happened to the output 
of the flashlight. It is now 30 minutes. I started at 7.27. It is now 8, it is now 7.57. So uh, 7.57, not quite 8 o'clock yet, of course. And it has been half an hour since I started the uh, flashlight. And look at it now. It has, you know, diminished to the point where it really is a useless beam at this point. And I will show you that it is still on the same level. This is high, there is medium, there is low, there are the flashing modes, and there you are on high again. So you are on high at this, you know, you're still on high, as it was when I started 30 minutes ago, and that is the output of the flashlight after 30 minutes of continuous use. Now obviously you may not use these batteries for 30 minutes, but you might if you happen to be camping or hiking or out in the boat or something like that and you think that these are a great, this is a great flashlight or not so much the flashlight but the battery, you know, this was what, that's what we're talking about here is an ultra fire battery. So, and a lot of times with these flashlights, if you buy them in a kit, you will get the battery for free. They will throw the battery in with the light and you just use the battery thinking it's great, but this is what happens after 30 minutes of some of these batteries. Now they do vary and they're not all identical. And uh, some of them are a little bit better than others. This happens to be one of the, one of the uh, poorer ones, I guess you could say. Um, but let us check the uh, voltage on it. Since we can see after 30 minutes, it is considerably dull. So let us now see where the voltage is after 30 minutes. Just do a quick uh, focus here. And remember the voltage started at 4.14. That's where it began at was 4.14. So uh, I will test it. And whoops, how about turning the uh, tester on? Be a good idea. All right. Wow, look at that. We are at 284. 2.84 after 30 minutes. It's going to go up a tiny bit. The resting voltage will rest a little bit higher uh, than when they're taken right out of the flashlight. But check that out. It is, it's not going to go above 3 volts. It will certainly stay below 3 volts and technically these batteries are not supposed to go below 3 volts. They are unprotected. Even though it says right on here it says right on the battery, yep, right there, short circuit overcharge and discharge protection, but a PCB, you know, PCB uh, protection circuit, it does not have a protection circuit. It doesn't have one. If it did, it wouldn't be able to drop as low as this. Protection circuits keep the batteries from dropping much below 3 volts. They usually stop them at about 3.2. This was down to 2.85. So there is no protection circuit on this battery, even though it claims there is. It is now at 2.94. So again, this is an ultra fire battery, one of the yellow ones. Do yourself a favor, stay away from these awful things, and if they come with your flashlight, if you happen to buy a kit, such as, uh, you know, one from the uh, Outlight family here. If, you, if they happen to come in a kit, just don't use it or keep it as a spare, but go your, go, but buy a better battery, buy a name brand battery elsewhere on Amazon or wherever you get the uh, flashlight from and don't use these horrible things. Lightsandgear.com is the place to go for flashlights, batteries, and chargers, and there's articles on there about lithium battery safety and 18650 batteries in general. So check it out, and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.